or that you wanting to kind of propose with UNMC, UNO, kind of weighing the pros and cons of it. I guess talk a little bit about uh, the, the resolution a bit. Okay. Uh, this was a interim study that I requested personally. I have a special interest. I happen to be a graduate of the University of Nebraska at Omaha, but I'm also a graduate of the University of Iowa, which is a model that has a medical school and a university under one president chancellor, actually. And uh, so it was an interest of mine. Uh, I submitted it and I went to Senator Groney, who's chairman of the education committee, simply as a courtesy piece. And I told him that my committee or my staff, not my committee, but my staff would be uh, doing the work on it. And he said, okay, he said, because I've got a plate full. And so uh, with that, I didn't have time because we had to have it prepared by Tuesday of this week and it had to be filed by Wednesday. So I didn't have time to really even uh, talk with uh, the president of the bounds of the University of Nebraska, nor the chancellor goal down at the university at, at the Med Center. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, there's been, since that time I have uh, spoken or I've texted back and forth with President Bounds and also I've had an opportunity to talk with a representative of Chancellor Golds. And I've shared with them that, you know, my interest is to look and say, what works to the advantage both of the taxpayers for the state? I think that the intent of the study is to not try to overrule or to serve in any capacity as the Board of Regents. It's their primary accountability. I respect that. I appreciate it. Uh, but we, I think there is a need for a chance to take a look at saying, what are the advantages and the disadvantages? Uh, I'm not on some witch hunt. And I'm not, don't have, I didn't have any contact from any of the faculty at the University of Nebraska at Omaha, and nor have I had any contact from the faculty at the University of Nebraska Medical Center. Uh, I think there's an opportunity there uh, that deserves to be looked at. The University of Nebraska at Omaha merged in uh, 50 years ago into the Nebraska system. I think it's time to stop, take a look, and say, you know, what could we do differently uh, this much later that uh, quite frankly, benefits everyone involved, particularly the taxpayers. And you kind of mentioned, you know, there's a, especially in the Big Ten, there's a lot of schools that already have this in place. Yes. You know, as you kind of mentioned, University of Iowa down the road Michigan. a bit, Michigan. Uh, how well has that worked out for those universities? Well, they seem to be doing 